In this Microsoft Outlook tutorial, I'm going to show you favorite Outlook keyboard shortcuts. And let's dive right in to the first favorite. If you're like me, you end up with way too many emails in your inbox. And sometimes there's an email that you glance at, you read, but you realize you want to go back and give it more attention later. For me, I like to mark it as unread. And to do that, you just right click on the email and mark as unread. But keyboard shortcuts are much more efficient than using the mouse in many cases. So let's look at a keyboard shortcut that accomplishes the same thing, that marks this email as unread. All you have to do is, with the email selected, hold control on the keyboard and tap U. And that marks the email as unread. What if you wanted to do the opposite? To mark it as read, hold control and tap Q. Our next Outlook keyboard shortcut is Control R. When you hold Control and tap R, it automatically creates a reply to the current email. Whichever email was selected, it creates a reply message to the sender of that email. So now I can just type and then click Send, and I can do most of that without taking my hands off the keyboard. Control F is a similar shortcut. You can guess what it is. It creates a forward message. So this message now can be easily forwarded to someone. I just have to put their email address in here, type a message, and send it. Our next keyboard shortcut is Control Shift M. If you hold Control, hold Shift, and tap M, this is what happens. It opens up a brand new blank Outlook message. You can put in the email address for the recipient and type your message and send it. So again, each of these shortcuts keeps my hands on the keyboard, which is much more efficient. I can work and type much more quickly. Now that last one is kind of hard to remember. Control Shift M. It doesn't seem to make much sense. Why isn't it Control N? Well, look what happens. If you hold Control and tap N, you get the same result. A blank email message appears. So why didn't I just use Control N? Well, the reason why is there is a slight difference. Control Shift M will always give you a blank email message, regardless of where you are in Outlook. Let's say I'm in my contacts, Control Shift M, it opens up a blank message. What if I'm in the calendar? Control Shift M, same thing. But here in the calendar, let's try holding Control and tapping N. If you do that, you don't get a blank message, you get a new calendar appointment. And so Control N creates a new item, but it depends on which of these sections of Outlook that you're working in. If you're working in Calendar, you get a new Calendar item. If you're working in Contacts, new Contacts. The To-Do List, a new task. And if you're in Email, a new email. So I find both Control Shift M for a new email no matter where you are, I find that to be useful. And I also find Control N that creates a new item dependent on what part of Outlook that you're in. I find both of those to be very useful, very helpful. Another example of that, let's say I'm working in the email part of Outlook and I would like to create a new contact without leaving the email section. Of course, I could just click here on contacts to create a new contact, but I'm gonna go back to mail and I'd like to create a new contact here from this window. In that case, you hold Control, hold Shift and tap C and I get a pop-up where I can put in a new contact. Okay, speaking of switching between the different sections of Outlook, I've been doing that by clicking on them, and of course that's less efficient than using the keys. So let's look at a keyboard shortcut for switching between these different sections. And these are pretty easy to remember, in my opinion. You just hold Control and tap the number 1, and that takes you to Email. Now the reason why is because that's the first item here in the list of Outlook sections. So Control 1 takes you to Section 1, which is for email. Control 2 takes us to Calendar. Control 3 to Contacts. Control 4 to the Task List. And I'm gonna do Control 2 to jump back to Calendar. Now there's a similar keyboard shortcut that works here in the Calendar. If I hold Control and Alt and then tap the number 1, it takes me to the day view. So this is the view for today. If I hold Control Alt and then tap two, it takes me to the weekday view. So Monday through Friday. Control Alt three takes me to the full week view and Control Alt four 
takes me to the month view. And so again, these keyboard shortcuts can really help you to jump around quickly from place to place or to accomplish things like forwarding or replying or marking emails as unread. So these are some favorite Microsoft Outlook keyboard shortcuts. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you have, please click the like button below and consider connecting with me on my social media accounts like Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. And definitely do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students. And when you do subscribe, please click the bell next to the subscribe button. If you do that, you'll be notified whenever I post another video. And watch for another video from me at least every Monday. If you'd like to support my YouTube channel, consider becoming a supporter of mine through my Patreon account. And you'll see a link to that in the description below.